Hey everyone, this is Kramon and welcome back to another guild battle series where we do the Wheel of Fortune against this one. It's the Chinese guild. So we'll be doing the best plus 3, plus 2 and plus 1. Hopefully, hopefully we can get some wins here. So let's just head right in with the spin. Okay, let's see what we get. Nat 5 only. Okay, I'm liking this one. <laughs> we gotta start off strong, alright? And a net force, the offense, alright. So net fives and net force. Very interesting. Okay. Um the best plus one here, I believe, is this guy, NP140. Annabelle Taranis Lydia. Oh. Okay. I think we can go with the more and double beast rider, so we can play Masha as well. Together with Savannah. Uh, all net 5. Mm -hmm. We should be able to get the strip off into the gigantic roar. So for the bottom one, net force only. I feel like this one, we need to run a Arnold. An Arnold. Uh, Icarus. And a Harmonia. Alright, so... As long as we survive the first turn coming up from them... <laughs> That's actually very important. Uh, we should be good. Yeah. We try to work on to the Molong first because I feel like he's the threat. And then, um, yeah. Harmonia. Let's go. Oh, hopefully, hopefully we can win this. <laughs> I don't want to start off with a loss. Alright. So let's just strip into the gigantic roar. We actually landed all the armor bricks, that's nice. We are gonna go for the Annabelle first, I believe. Because I don't really want to deal with her armor brick and slow debuff. And then now we work on to the Tyrannus. That's nice. Okay. So now, from here, I feel like we just try to work on to the Lydia. Perfect. Good, good, good. We should be able to lap. And yeah, left this Tyrannus alone, I think we are already fine. Boom, boom. Okay, at least we got one win. Uh, this one, we can't really do anything with our Harmonia at the moment. Oh, that was so close. We are gonna finish off the Molong first. And heal up. Okay, let's play some attack debuff. Ah, uh, if only the attack debuff was onto the Perna instead of that Cheongpong, it would've been really nice. But, I think we should be still okay. Come on, no Dispair stun. Let's just do the Unwanted Harmony this time. Okay, Cheongpong already down to half-life, but of course Perna in play. Perna is just gonna heal him back up. And we'll just try to extort the Perna. Let's bring down the first life, alright. I'm gonna cleanse the glancing. Mm, yep. No stun again. Come on, man. Despair. I'm gonna use the Dark Twister. Oh, we actually landed it onto the Chongpong. That's huge. Because Chongpong, I believe, has the second skill up already. One more turn. I'm a brick. <laughs> oh my god, that was so close. Shit. My heart skipped a bit there. <laughs> uh, alright, alright, we are safe. We are just gonna use the extortion. Press the auto button. I, I think we have this one. Okay. Oh, somebody got Archangel. Nice. Hopefully it's not Atomil. <laughs> okay, victory. That's what I like to see. And let's move on to the best plus two. So we are seeing the Molong Perna and Taranis together with Ophelia Chow and Ritesh. We don't really see Chow too often. Okay, let's roll. One support HP and attack. I think I can deal with that. That's nice. <sighs> so close to dark and light. Thankfully it was one water fire win. <laughs> <laughs> if it's dark and light, I think we, uh, we insta lose the second match. <laughs> okay, so net force only, right? For the top one. 
Hey, no, no, no. Uh, one support HP and attack. So I believe we can bring in our Fey. Fey is attack, right? And it's also our deb debut for Guild Wars. I don't think I used it in Siege yet as well. So we'll play Fey this time. So is Vigor a HP unit? Yes, he is. Alright. And Chiana, I know she's a support, so Chiana can provide like the... What's that? The death coming up from Perna, if Perna goes crazy, at least we can kind of like sustain one unit at least for one turn. Um, where's my crit damage, Chiana? Yep, there we go. Because I kind of need more damage dealers in this lineup. And then we can run like the attack power lead from the VR Second Awakening itself. For the bottom one, 1 HP, hey no, 1 Water, Wind and Fire. So, I'm gonna bring in something fun, alright? You never see me use Praha for a really long time, and the same goes for Etna. So we got some strips into Armor Break, and Perna, Perna is a big nuker, and his fire. <laughs> okay, we'll just try this, let's go. I think the first one is gonna be very interesting. I honestly don't really know how to use Fae just yet. But yeah, we'll see. Let's just go for the Shred onto the Taradis. That's perfect, we actually landed the 3 turns armor break. However, no heal debuff. Can we crit? Additional turn. Okay, we'll go for the Dark Dragon attack DDA. Let's go! Um. Yeah, about that. It didn't really do too much, right? <laughs> Even though I saw like one ignore damage, I think it was 11k only. Why is it so low? Is it because not max skill? Uh, doesn't matter. Okay, we'll just try to remove the soul protection. And we have to kill off the Tyranus once again. Nice armor break again coming up from Vigor onto the Tyranus. I'm gonna heal up our Fey. Okay, can we kill? Right, so two lives down. This will be the last. Let's just continue working on it. Nice sleep. That's actually huge. Good, <laughs> good normal attack into the shadowless kick, and then we just heal up once again. Go for the normal attack onto Perna. So first life of Perna is down already. Okay, let's just try to armor break. Oh, we are landing all our shit coming up from Bigor. That's nice. And this DDA, easy, easy. Okay, so I don't think Molong will kill any of our units from here. Yeah, we should be really safe. Uh, just go for the Shadowless Kick. Nice beneficial block, but doesn't really matter, right? We'll just top off Fae back to almost full life. And yeah, this Dragon Dance don't really do too much. Armor Break. Okay, let's see like the normal attack. 16k! Okay, we'll take that! However, for this one, we'll just go for the Shatter since there's no immunity on their side. And we have to strip this Ophelia, very important. Bloody hell, man. So, we got no choice but to actually hit the Ophelia this time. Yeah, all these props doesn't really matter because we can't do too much. And let's just strip away that. Armor, that armor buff on that retash, and I'm gonna heal up. Uh, can we get some stuns? Perfect. I don't really want to use Shatter just yet. Probably the next turn. Can we stun this Ophida? Nice. Shatter. Okay, retash is dead. On the bright side, their AoE armor breaker is down, and it's all up to Perna. How long he can survive against the child because I feel like we need to work on to the Ophelia first. Additional turn! Again? To stun my Edna? Okay, second chance in life. Of course we didn't get the strip. <laughs> Yo, damn it man. Come on Perna. Can we armor break? I think this Ophelia is like really high on resistance or something. It seems like we can't really do anything to her. We don't land any armor breaks. 
of course, elemental disadvantage, right? But yeah, we'll just probably heal up. Ouch. Yeah, we're gonna go for the Shatter all in play. Can we stun this Chell? Nice. Shatter once again? We can't land the armor break on this unit? <laughs> oh, Perna is dead. On the bright side, they don't have heals, right? Only the Chow's passive for himself. And I feel like if we bring down the Ophelia in time, Chow shouldn't be able to win Edna. Yeah? Because I got a big feeling that my Praha will lose. Like, she'll die. So let's just go for the capture. Nice. We missed one crit, but can we land the armor break once again? That's awesome. Oh. <laughs> wow, this fight. Really intense. Okay. Uh, however, we can't do the best plus one though. So... Oh. No wonder no one is doing this guy. He has the kinky. <laughs> and... Oh my god, this is actually really hard if the Wheel of Fortune gives us some shit lineup. I got a feeling we'll lose. No human monsters, okay. So I'm already thinking along the likes of Morlong. Net trees. Fuck, how are we gonna use net trees against that Jean Taranis? They're super tanky. <laughs> okay, we have to get the first win. If not, this will be essentially a loss. I, I don't feel confident fighting the Jean, Taranis, and Bigor with Net Trees only because we don't really have like good immunity coming out from Net Tree monsters. So yeah, we are gonna pick our Molong. Molong Diana can be good. Uh, of course, Coco is really nice. Things like Coco, Ciara against the Kinky, but we can't use it because they are humanish. They are Mage and Oracles. Um, damn it, man. What should our last pick be? <laughs> Going Jotun here is useless. Miho as well, but yeah, I think Miho can probably sustain like the damage output coming out from Kinky. Yeah, we need a dark unit. However, I don't think Miho is good also. But I don't really have much options for... Dark units, which is non hu non human. Um Yeah. I I think we just go for it, I guess. Ah, oh, I'm having hiccups as well. Why? Okay. Uh, we are gonna use net trees, man, for this. I think maybe we can run. Yeah, I was thinking. I was thinking along the likes of bulldozer, copper, but of course we don't have a copper ruined up, and but copper doesn't really make much sense here as well because we're just gonna get provoked up anyways. So maybe we run a Sin Tractor and a... Mm, either... Ah, we can't use Vigor. Yeah, we can't use Vigor. I know Lulu is like really nice, but Lulu is 2 star. <laughs> so yeah, very unfortunate. Uh, we'll remove that. Vigor, we already used Vigor earlier, so yeah, we can't really use him again. Bella? Bella as a healer? Um. Yeah, let's try. Let's try. I'm thinking either Bella or Shren. So that we have some sustains, which is net three. Yeah, I'm just gonna go for Bella. I guess we got armor break, and maybe with the armor break we get to destroy their HP more. Hmm. Okay, let's just go. <laughs> We have to get the first uh the first win against that kinky first. Come on. Okay, place this a shield into the reckless assault. Alright, I'm gonna work onto the Molo. So with this reckless assault as well. Should die. Wait a minute! I picked the wrong Molo! 
This Monlong is violent? He didn't live steal. What the fuck? Oh my god, what a big misplay. Oh shit. I think we are gonna lose. Yeah, this is the violent one. Yo. <laughs> because I was thinking, right? Um, with Vampire in play, we can lie still from the Reckless Assault. We don't get too much HP loss. Then we try to lie still a little bit more. And with the Dyna Shield, we should be able to like sustain Miho and the Molong for a few turns against the Kinky because Kinky generally is like really high on HP. Attack wise, they are not really that good. That's the reason why it's like so annoying to deal with. But yeah, shit man. Wrong unit. <laughs> There's no way my Diana wins this time. Yeah, we're not gonna do anything to this Kinky. Ah, GG. Last gasp. Inevitable wound. This is not gonna do shit. And yeah, let's just die. <laughs> no. <laughs> and I don't feel good with this one, you know. Okay, on the bright side, we landed the armor break. So with destroy runes. Um, the destroy isn't really kicking in. I don't know why. What's that? Like nothing. Can we strip? Huh. <sighs> he keeps on placing that heal block onto my sin. And now with this provoke, we can't heal up. Okay, that's a nice stun, but the Vigor heals is too strong. We are not destroying as much as we intended to. Shit, we have to heal up here. I'm gonna go for the provoke. <laughs> I wanted to neglect like one turn damage from the Vigor onto my sin, but unfortunately that didn't do jack shit, so uh I think one sin goes down here. Come on man. If sin goes down, it's definitely a loss. Can we like strip this? Of course not. The resistance leader as well coming up from Jean working wonders. Come on, can we stun? Despair? Oh wait, it's not on Despair, right? Vampire? Uh, it's like the default normal attack with the stun. We can't land the Provoke onto this Vigor, man. Our Sin is down to the last health. Can we armor break, please? Okay, prop. Okay, we heal up. Of course, I mean, even if we kill like the Jean off, that's the revive coming out from Taranis. That's the reason why this team. Ah, uh, I was thinking like if my destroy could have worked faster, then uh, they wouldn't be healing too much. <laughs> but look at that, it's not even 10% yet. Shit. Yeah, fuck, we lost. Uh, I'm, I'm just gonna quit this one. Yo, very sad, very sad. But this was very hard requirements, no doubt. <laughs> so I really do hope they enjoyed this one. At least we got our win onto the Faye. Yeah, so Faye, finally we get to showcase her. And yeah, more videos to come about Faye, guys. And remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Like this video as well. Take care, stay safe. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.